Hey guys, Joma here and welcome back. So for this episode, ituturo ko sa inyo yung quick and free software para mat-stress test mo yung GPU mo. Now, it's either galing ka sa ibang videos ko teaching you how to buy your first laptop or a second-hand laptop or pwede naman nag-overclock ka ng GPU mo kasi gamer ka or pwede rin naman nabibili ka lang nung GPU galing sa ibang tao na second-hand and gusto mo lang makasigurado na yung nakukuha mong GPU is hindi mag-overheat and may hit na yung frames per second or FPS na kailangan mo para maswabe yung paglalaro mo. Pero kahit ano pa dun sa na-mention ko, ang reason mo kung bakit gusto mo i-check, definitely yung software na to is applicable for you. So before tayo magsimula, quickly lang, no? don't forget to check my playlist here about laptops, uh, desktops, and other gadgets that I will review. Or pwede mo rin naman i-check dun sa link on my description. So without further ado, let's jump in. So guys, you can either search this on Google or i-click mo na lang yung link na ibibigay ko sa'yo. Look under yung descriptions. Pero pwede mo na din tignan doon yung ibang mga playlist ko about uh, tech and computer stuff. So it will take you to this website. Don't worry, 100% safe to. I've tried it a few times already. If in case may mga pop-ups, um, sa akin kasi naka-add blocker ako. So kung wala kang add blocker, baka may mga kita mga pop-ups, i-exit mo lang yun and tuloy ka lang doon sa download. So, yung clinic ko kanina ay nandun sa bandang gilid, yung kulay green na may download, tapos uh, nakasulat uh, rate after downloading or something. So, yan. Uh, of course, installation. Depende sa'yo kung saan path mo siya isi-save. But, for me personally, nag uh, gumagawa ako or nagsisave ako ng copy sa ibang mga drive score. You can save one on your Dropbox para anytime na kailangan niyo yung file for your other computers or laptops, etc. Mas accessible na for you. So, we're just gonna wait for this one na matapos mag-install. Yan. Or i-fast forward ka na. Tapos, once the installation is done, iraran lang natin yung software. Tapos, we will be greeted by this menu. So, andito yung mga settings. You can tweak it according to your liking. Andito rin yung resolution. So, for the screen recording kasi na ginagamit kong computer, hindi siya 1080p. So, by default, uh, you can leave it as it is. Pero kung naka-multiple computers ka, may specific monitor ka na gustong itest, na ka-partner or kumukuha yon ng data from your GPU then, piliin mo yung resolution na yon. tapos you can start the test you will see a warning sign like this one basically, ang sinasabi niya lang 3 reasons uh, why this might fail 1. Overclocking of course, ito naman yung main purpose overclockers will understand na it's normal na mag-shutdown yung PC mo during this Kasi nagtitwik sila ng mga settings like voltages, etc. Na i-detail ko sa ibang video guys, not on this one. Uh, pangalawa is insufficient PSU, of course, related pa rin sa overclocking. And third is yung VRAM or a part of your chip na baka mag-overheat. So, advice ko lang kung first time mo pa lang itong gagawin. Maybe you can do this for about siguro mga 5 minutes or less than 10 minutes. And wag mong iwanan yung computer mo habang nagtatest siya. So, for me, actually, 30 seconds ko lang niran yung program na to. Um, basically, marami ka nang makikita na data, about 30 seconds. Uh, makikita mo na dun yung temperature mo, frames per second. So, more or less, malalaman mo kung ano yung magiging performance niya sa games mo. So, you can play around with this software para ma-check may specs ng laptop GPU or desktop GPU mo. And that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, if you want any topics or videos na ma-discuss, hit me up on the comment section. Sobrang bilis ko mag-reply. Parang karate siya. Seriously, guys. Thank you for watching. Joma here. And see you next time.